Okay, hi guys, and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial. What we're going to be doing in this episode here is working on our intake sections up here and down below here. So, as we can see so far, we have our mesh laid, laid out nicely on either side. Um, the only thing that we really need to do to our frontal mesh section for this is to add a new cut in here to facilitate our section there. Eventually we'll add another one in here for this curve as well. And then we're going to need to add a little bit of topology to this section here just to take away some of these angles as well. So first things first, we will edit our first section here and we're going to use our mesh tools and insert edge loop. And what we're going to do is we will bring this in as close to this line as possible. As you can see here that we have our line section just there. Now that's going to follow the whole length of the car. Now if we just check that and just make sure that's looking okay throughout, um, that's going to help us actually get a nice defined line down this section as well when we actually do come to smooth um, this edge. But that's looking pretty good so what we'll do is we will now extrude this section up and along. So we're going to select our edges, we're going to get that and a new edge here. We are going to um, actually what we'll do is we'll just take our first edge here and we'll extrude this section. <clears throat> now we can see already that we have our topology in place up here. So we're just going to drag these vertices straight up to this section. And we will be adding a bit more information in here so we can reflect that curve a little bit better there as well. So we're going to edit mesh and merge this section. And we're going to do the same with this one here. Again, we're going to edit mesh and we will merge. So looking in our 3D view here, we can see that that section there is pretty much on point as how we want it to be until we can add a little bit more information inside there. Now, with this edge here, what we're going to do is we'll take this up as well, but we don't want to take it as part of this section because we can see that it actually folds out underneath. So we're going to take this section alone, hitting Control E on our world option, and we're just going to drag this all the way up here. And then we'll make sure that we're sitting pretty in our top view as well. Okay, and then in our vertices view here, our vertex view, we will bring this point down here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good now along that section, so we can start to see where that intake is going to be taking place. So what we're going to do in this section now is we are going to want to work on this lower intake and we could actually before we do that extrude this edge up here and we will merge it to this section here. Can edit mesh and merge that, and then we'll take this vertices here and we'll merge it down there. Now that's a triangle for now, but we will add something to that later on in order to make it a nice round polygon. And we can merge that again. So we've got that little bit of intake section looking pretty good up there. So now we'll work on this lower section as well. So <clears throat> it's probably going to be beneficial for us to get our topology in place first. And it looks like this section here is going to gain a little bit of a lip there. So we can see that this is actually going to extrude out and up as well. So what we'll do then is we'll add an edge loop here and we'll try to do that roughly in line there. And again we're just going to check that, that's going to look okay, that's going to then give us a bit more definition to that line as well. So what we want to do with this section that we've created is we're actually going to take this up and around this section and then we're going to probably merge it to an area up here. 
So we'll do similar to what we did on the top section. We'll take this edge. Now I believe we're a little bit short just here. So we're going to leave the door vertices where it is, but we're going to take everything else and we're just going to bring it up here. We'll bring it as far up as where this ridge section actually starts. Yeah. And what we'll do first is we'll bring these sections here by extruding these edges. We'll bring this all the way along here. And we know that this section here looks like it's more or less in the correct spot. So we'll snap to these vertices here and snap to this vertices here okay so far so good and what we'll do now is we need this section here to be extruded up to this point so what we're going to need to do is add an insert loop just inside here So this section is now going to come all the way up here and let's see. Just make that there. Yeah. So we'll take this section here, this edge here, we're going to extrude this out and up. And we're going to want to take the vertex here and snap it to this section. And we can merge that. And then this vertices here is going to become this corner section. See this corner section actually wants to sit here, and this section needs to be pulled out here. Okay, it's looking good. And what we'll do is we'll take this edge here and we're going to extrude this up for the rest. This section here. Cool. So, this section here is eventually going to merge to some vertices that we're going to place here, and we'll do that just now. So, we're going to put these in place roughly to match. The mesh tools, insert edge loop, roughly to match where we want those to be. So we'll take one here, and we'll take one here. So for the most part that's looking okay. What we'll do is we'll drag these down to follow the curvature of this section here. So what we'll do is we use our insert edge loop, we'll just throw one up there for now, which is going to allow us to bring one and if we just draw these sections in here just to make sure that they're going to go in the direction that we want them to. That's better. So 
So we can pull these out here where they should be. And we can also drop them down here to where they should be as well. And that's going to allow us to snap these vertices to these sections there. That's better. And then we can also bring these ones in position here and here, which will now allow us to bring this section in as well. Now let's just make sure. Now what we'll actually do a little bit here is I'm going to bring these sections in. We're going to leave these sections out, so it's going to be more of a smooth curve outwards here. Cool. And then we'll bring these vertices in to that section there. Okay, it's looking good. So what we need to do now is it looks like we need to insert one more edge loop around here. which again what we're actually going to do is I'm going to pull this section out and make sure that this is sitting nicely as well I want to make sure that this is still sitting somewhat straight. Maybe not actually. Okay. Okay, and then that is going to allow us here to bring this vertices here down there. Now actually no, what we want it to do is put this vertices here. Then we can extrude this section out. Now we want this one to stay attached here. So we'll edit mesh. Let's we'll drop that there. This one we want to over here, and then this one up here. Okay, so I think we actually probably want to take this out with a little bit more something. Okay. So for our edge here to go in and underneath, we are going to extrude this section again. And this time what we want to do is get somewhat of a straighter line here. OK. 
can match that up here. Okay. And now we'll take this edge here inside the actual intake itself. looking pretty good there. So to close this episode off, what we'll do is we will select our two sections here, Control D, Control G, negative one on that X axis. And you can see that we're starting to take a little bit of shape here. So what I'm going to do is in between episodes and I'm just going to tidy up this section and then It'll leave us with working on the rear diffuser and the rear headlight section in our next episode. Cool.